Family is anything but simple. There are misunderstanding secrets and wounds passed down by our ancestors we don't even know we're carrying. This adventure took six years of my life and totally transformed me because it's been both a fight and a declaration of love. That was a snippet from the trailer of The Rivers, Maya Yua's first long format documentary. She's a Franco-Vietnamese filmmaker and blogger, and I'm delighted to welcome her to the show today. Maya, your film The Rivers is about intergenerational trauma, family ties and unsaid truths. You decided to make it after your uncle told you that the women in your family are cursed. This just after your separation with the father of your children. You decided to try and make sense of all of this. And to do so, you filmed your grandmother, your mother and your daughter for almost three years. What did you expect to find and what did you actually end up finding? I didn't expect anything, to be frank, because it was so overwhelming, uh, the task of overcoming a curse. So I had no idea uh, what I would find. And that's what uh, kept us alive, I think. <laughs> It's not to know and to let in whatever would come out of it. Would you describe this as a cathartic project for you? Totally. It's a very cathartic project and a very universal quest that is the one of one individual uh, facing its uh, or her uh, own story and the family story where we all come from mothers and, and, and fathers and ancestors and we all carry a story that does not always belong to us. So uh, it's a very uh, growthful project, of course. Now, you mentioned that you didn't have a clear idea in mind when you started this project. You ended up with 90 hours of rushes. Editing itself took another three years. What was your creative process? So it's a very uh, iterative uh, process where uh, the timeline in my with my editor was bringing me information that I, I wasn't aware of. Because when you're filming, uh, you have an experience, but when you see the images, you see the positions of the people, you see the energies of the people, you see information that you didn't get when you were actually living the, the scene. So um, the process was very long because I was capable to see things and understand things that I did not understand at that time. And also I had to, to, to face my family and, and make them um, aware of my project, of me will, really willing to grow up as an individual and as a mother also. All right. In the rivers, you capture some very intimate moments and painful conversations. Let's take a look. Now, uh, your mother in that clip has an important message about women not needing men to be happy, and it's somewhat a turning point in your film. Your documentary is also very female-centric. Would you describe it as a feminist movie? Uh, at the beginning, it wasn't. Uh, my, my, my quest was, do I need a man to have a, uh, a life that is worth living? Which, which is totally uh, wrong now uh, to, to think about it. But at that time, I wasn't sure. It wasn't, it wasn't clear for me that my life was worth living without a man. So I needed to undertake that very intimate journey that was not linked to uh, a, a wider, more societal debate that is now going on. Uh, about feminism. But now that I have shared this movie, it becomes a political um, step for me, for sure. And it, it's, it, it, it belongs to a post-Me Too era, a post-Me Too incest era also, we'll of course. We'll uh, get to talk a little bit more about that after. Just one more question. Has, have your mother and daughter seen the film? And if so, what were their reactions? 
been very different from my mom and from my, my daughter. My mom was uh, going back and forth between uh, the, the real desire to see her daughter blossom and fulfill uh, this movie and this creative and existential process. And at the same time, she was so fearful because she had also to face her own past, her own loyalties toward her history and her father, which was a very, very scary adventure for her. So it was both being very um, happy and supportive and at the same time being very like resisting. And for my daughter, she was very, very proud and very, um, uh, very touched. She knew the family story before she saw the movie, but I think it was a very empowering moment for her to see her mum being empowered also. All right. And uh, journalist and writer Mona Cholet describes the rivers as a fascinating family archaeology. She gave a glowing criticism of your documentary. France 24 asked her what her thoughts were about your work. She's part of a larger movement that takes issue with a system of domination and of silence. And she also tries to build something else by breaking the chain that perpetuates domination over generations. You have to be ready to deal with these things. And she goes into it without shaking, or she hides it, or she just owns it, which is even better. Mona Cholet there talking about how you confront your family's ghosts head on. Now, one of those ghosts is incest, as you mentioned. Your film came out before the hashtag MeTooIncest went viral on French Twitter. What's your reaction to that online movement? I am so... <laughs> I don't know if happiness is the right word, but I, I feel that we are now um, gathering as droplets who are forming a very, very big, irresistible wave where not only people are speaking, but also people are listening, which is very, very new. And it's a total shift in the paradigm that the patriarchal domination can't stand. And when I was doing my movie, uh, I didn't know I was transgressing uh, a silent law that is, don't talk about it. Talking about myself and my own story and the way I uh, feel things, how I live, and to say that my life matters um, uh, is a very transgressive thing to do in a patriarchal society. Your film is about intergenerational trauma, but what we pass down through our families isn't always just about pain. How has your family kept in touch with your Vietnamese heritage? Of course, in, in transmission, we transmit also a lot of beauty. And that's what I found out. I was sure that I was coming from a cursed line of women. And by filming them, still dancing, still, still alive, still so willing to live fully, mainly my grandmother, who is about to die and who transformed herself in a very spectacular way, uh, I found that we, we come from a very powerful line of women. And, and in that, there is something that is very Vietnamese too. We have a kind of faith in our strength, in our values, in, uh, in family too. How we are capable to face our demons, to go through pain together. And the togetherness, uh, uh, the, the sense of belonging is, uh, is capable to upset anything, any dramas. The Rivers is centred around the women in your life. Your second film with your partner, psychotherapist Jerry Hyde, is about masculinity. What made you want to work on this? Um, so my partner has been, uh, so he's a therapist based in London. Uh, he's been working with uh, individuals, men, women, people transitioning to, uh, but he also have groups, circles, uh, talking circles, and he's been doing that for 25 years where men go uh, in these circles. So these men have developed a capacity to talk about intimate issues 
that are universal, but it's very, very rare that men can hold it and can share it. And uh, I found out that working with women, uh, women, we still have maintained uh, our capacity for emotions, capacity to speak out or to share intimate matters. For men, it's been broken mainly by wars. And after me to uh, broke out, I, I told Jerry, we need to do something uh, to bring our our gift to the world, because what you do with these men is exactly what make them safe, because he's been working a lot with violent men too. We can't change the world if we can't change the masculine culture. And finally, my, we always ask our guests for their cultural pick of the moment. And uh, you chose the Divas exhibit at the Arab World Institute in Paris. In just one sentence, why would you recommend it? It's a very powerful um, exhibition about powerful women. And we need, um, we need these new landscapes of inspiration. We can't, we can't always just think we, we need to dream also. Uh, and dream is, a, is a, a kind of reality. And these women made me dream so much. All right. So we'll leave you with a clip of that in a second. Maya, you, uh, your film The Rivers is out online with subtitles in five languages, soon six. And it's set to come out in French cinemas in October. Thank you so much for being with us. And thank you for watching. Remember, you can stay in touch with us on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook. More news coming up after this. Versailles, Mont Saint-Michel, the Louvre are well-known stars of French heritage. But French genius and France harbors many other hidden treasures. The arts, gastronomy, architecture, as well as nature's wonders. Come along with France 24. Discover France's living heritage. From young apprentices to accomplished craftsmen and farmers to Michelin star sporting chefs, meet these people whose passion for their professions preserve and drive French heritage. You are here on France 24 and France24.com.